Hi guys. So the topic for day three is open topic and I just want to talk about um with cloth diapering and being out and about. So this past Monday I had to take my son to his doctor's appointment. Of course, it's in cloth now. Um, when you are going to go out and about, be sure you pack enough cloth diapers and enough um, covers and have extra fasteners in the diaper bag. Um, <coughs> only because <coughs> when you're out and about, you don't have the luxury of letting your covers dry. You have to put them in the bag with your dirty diaper. And so, um, what, what I did was, <clears throat> I packed six already folded flats in my son's step bag. I had six covers as well. Um, He had on his nappy, and so <clears throat> what I do is in a Ziploc bag, I have just some extra diaper fasteners, you know, in case you know poo gets on your diaper fastener, and you're out and about, you have no way of um, leaving your baby unattended just to, uh, clean your fastener so better to have extra fasteners on hand just in case now my son's appointment you know doctor you know goes to check his genitals and doctor's like can you take the diaper off I'm not familiar with cloth I'm like okay now um I did that now my son's diaper was still dry he could have had it back on but the doctor asked me to just put a clean one on him I humored the doctor doctors that aren't familiar with cloth don't realize that as long as your diaper is still dry and not and the slide is so dirty, you can put it back on. So I humored the doctor. But that's okay. Now, <clears throat> there's a fold called the diaper bag fold. That I use for the diaper bag. And... This sort of looks like all folded up. Um, that's all. It's just real simple fold to do. There's quite a bit of layers up front, which is good for a boy. But yeah, so I can tuck these under and it will pretty much stay folded in the bag. <clears throat> and so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, anyways, out and about, you want to make sure you change your kid's diaper when it is possible. 
Now, I ended up writing a city bus home, and of course, not always convenient to... No, actually, gotcha, it's not convenient to tell the bus driver to pull over so you could change your baby. Ain't gonna happen. Not on a city bus. So, <clears throat> if you're using public transportation, like I do on occasion, um, change your kid's diaper before you head out. And if you're doing city bus and you have to transfer to a different bus to get to where you need to go, if you have the time, um, check the diaper and change as needed. Um, yeah, so, ended up taking about three buses to get home, which isn't too bad. I only took like a total of an hour and a half, but if we were in the car with my husband, it would have only been 12 minutes. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, and, um, so far, I'm, <clears throat> I'm loving these, these, uh, Green Mountain Diaper Organic Black, they're bird I weave. I am loving, loving them. <clears throat> In fact, I'm loving them so much, I might just get rid of my other stash. I haven't decided yet. And I do need to get more boingos. My yellow ones are missing and my blue one, I only have one. But there are some teeth missing on it, so yeah, I gotta get new ones. Definitely have to get new one of those. But I have the snappy, I have the pin, so we're good. As long as we have fasteners, we are good. We're not really making it a major concern, like top of the list, to order more bungos. Because I have like eight different types of diaper pins. Maybe ten. I lost track. But I like having the pins and the snappy. My husband loves using the snappy. I love using the pins. We'll both use the bungos. We just go for whatever we is in our reach in the morning. If I'm changing my son's diaper, it's usually the pins. If my husband, it's gonna be the snappy. If the snappy's trying, cause I'll wash it, then he'll go for the bundles. Yeah. But that is, you know, day three. So, uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow is day four. <laughs>